Hello and welcome. This is Dernan playing Minecraft on the Hippocraft server. I have extended the wall a ways. Over there is the guard tower that was built several episodes ago and moved along here. Made a nice little gate archway here and then included some towers here, but they kind of blend in with the wall, which is kind of how I want it to be. But they need to have nice little toppers, I think. Um, so that's what I'm going to do this episode. The wall does continue on a ways. That way it just hasn't been decorated quite yet. But we'll get to that eventually. There's a lot of wall to get done and a lot of stuff to get built. So I've got a design in mind. I've planned it out, got some pictures I'm working off of, and the sun is going down. And I will go ahead and put up the first one and bring you back when that's all done. I must say that scaffolding blocks are amazing. Uh, and so is an elytra. A uh, number of times I was making my way up and would fall off and then just sort of float back down. And then be able to use the scaffolding blocks to go back up. Here are the two caps to the towers. And... Now I'm going to go in and put some carpet squares on top of those ones so that nothing can spawn up there. Because that would be poor form for someone to be coming along here and just have a creeper or a skeleton snipe them from up there. So let's head back up there and put in some protection. I decided to alternate white carpet and then blue carpet going up and I do really like the the white carpet giving a little bit of depth and outline to the various levels. Uh, I didn't really like the white carpet on each level so I decided to alternate. And there we go. Two guard towers almost done. Now I need to go on the inside and as I was building it up I did put carpet on these little outcropping parts, and on this one I did add in oak flooring up at the top. This one, however, does not have it, so you can see the pattern goes right the way up. So I need to get into this tower, add in that oak flooring, so that at the level up there, there is flooring for people to stand on and get up to the castle walls. I need to figure out at some point how to get from down here up to there, but that's a future Durnan problem. So let's get to building that floor, and I'll show you what I mean. Up here on the little walkway that's very dangerous in between the two towers, I added in oak flooring that's down on the lower half of a slab so nothing can spawn in here has a cool design going up to the top to match what's going on over here. And this you can eventually get down and then you're on the castle walls. I think I'm going to extend this walkway out a bit and so that we don't have to almost fall off as we get around there. So that'll be what happens in the future with this guard tower. And let me show you what else I've been working on. It's easier to get a bandage point from the sky, so I'm just flying around here. Uh, here is the towers that I just worked on. I set up a little in layout here. As you come into the city, you'll be seeing a lot of stuff, and including there is an inn. Path going off that way towards the swamp, this way back towards the mansion, and some other things. I've dotted around a few of these circle buildings that I'm hoping will be catapult slash trebuchet towers that'll be up above and protecting the city back away from the wall to lob stuff if there's people attacking, armies and such. I added in a few more house outlines up here, thinking that as people come through here and walk along this path, 
they'll have a walkway over them as they come down here into a central sort of market area, large fountain, because this it seems to be a hub as I was laying out pathways. The mansion and warehouse and docks are going to be that way, and the swamp is that way, and across here is probably going to be another bridge over into this forested area across the river. Nice fortified something there. So that's sort of what I've been working on in order to plan out this city and see what's going on. Another way that I'm going to be protecting the city is by having this guardhouse slash customs house here so that when people come in they can declare their things in here and then there'll be a second floor where the guards will have bunks and lockers and then that's where they'll sleep when they're off duty or on duty i'm not really sure how that all works but this will be a nice little simple house so here we go I have completed the customs house with a little guard room up at the top. So as we come in, there are a couple chairs that people can be sitting in and take note of what people have brought in. They can enter in from either side. And then if we head upstairs, this is where the bunk room is. So there's several chests and then some white and blue beds. And there we go. I'm thinking maybe I'll have to create an exit back here for the guards to kind of come in and out. But maybe they'll just go through the customs part. And that'll work out just fine. So here it is. There's a uh, dark oak roof with stone brick trim around the edge and then stone brick slabs up at the top to prevent things from spawning and then it's lit up well enough with some lanterns yeah so i think this will be the design of what the customs house looks like and then if there is a guard house it'll have the extra floor otherwise the roof will be down lower and it'll just be a smaller little room yeah so i like that design all right let's go see what the maps look like in the mansion and now we're in the mansion looking at the maps and we can see the circles here are the guard tower spire toppers i added in some outlines for more buildings there's the circles for the trebuchet towers. Here's the little customs house. And the inn. And then I'm thinking a stables will go right here. So that when people come in, they can put their horses there and then just walk through the city as needed. Or if you're leaving, you can get a horse to ride off into the distance. Who knows? But... I think that'll be it for this episode. This has been Dernan, playing Minecraft. Mm -hmm.